Welcome to another Football Manager 2013 tutorial and today I will be showing you how to find and install the Football Manager 2013 data editor which can be found on Steam. Um, I've decided to show you how to find it basically because it's been the most common question I've had the last few weeks on Twitter and what with the full release of the game coming out there will be a lot more people wanting to find where it is so basically all you have to do is open up Steam and it will come to this store or perhaps your library and you need to click on the little arrow next to all games and go down to tools it's quite simple and it comes up with all the tools um, on Steam and one of them is the Football Manager 2013 editor and you just click on that and then right click on it and press install game it's quite simple and there it will show you how much required space there is and estimated download time and then all you need to do is click next and here you can decide if you want to create shortcuts on the desktop for the editor and then click on next and it will start to install the game start to download and you just click on finish then all you need to do if you click at the bottom it shows one item downloading and it is the editor and you just wait for it to download once it has downloaded then all you need to do is either click on play here or go to your desktop so either double click on your desktop icon or go to your start menu where it should be there as well or you can just click on play for the first time and it will open it up so it comes to this screen here I won't be showing you how to use the editor but in the next tutorial I will be I'll be showing you how to create players and teams and alter different things I don't I haven't shown you how to find the editor and install it for you to cheat. I don't I don't want you to cheat by giving yourself a hundred million pounds when you're in charge of Gillingham. That just defeats the object of the game and you get less enjoyment when you know that you've altered things in the game. It's much more pleasurable experience when you win or do well with a team <laughs> when you haven't cheated. So yes. Please use it wisely. Maybe to create a transfer update or create a team for yourself or a player for yourself but anyway i hope you've found this tutorial useful if so please like and subscribe and i look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial thank you for watching